being a millennial with kids, I know how expensive it is. From diapers to baby food to miscellaneous items, it adds up quick. Now, thankfully, I've built a great business and invested my money and I'm pretty wealthy, but that's not the case for most millennials. So let's see exactly why millennials are having such a hard time paying for their children. Reason number one, that the world is not certain. Everything we were told as millennial children is pretty much an absolute lie. Get good grades, get a good job, stay loyal and work there for 20, 30 years. Get a good pension, retire at like 55, 60. Dude, life is gonna be pretty sweet. That is pretty much a lie and we know that today. Okay. So now as a millennial thrown into the matrix, we're now questioning everything left, right, and center. What is real? What is not real? What else was I told that's a total scam? Not to mention just about monetary reasons, but when it comes to relationships, it's getting really weird as well. See, millennials are kind of the first generation to move away from that nuclear family center. Now, I'm not trying to get all Ben Shapiro over here and get into that type of thing into this video, but it's definitely true. We're moving away from more traditional lifestyles, traditional marriages, the way we even have relationships, the way women want to date men and vice versa. I mean, everything is literally changing. And I think when it comes to this family unit, it's definitely getting worse. See, now we have men chasing their career at full front. We have women chasing their career at full speed while trying to raise a kid, while trying to buy a home in this market that's absolutely insane, doesn't make any sense. I mean, we're literally burnt out. We're running around with our head cut off, trying to make it all work, trying to live that Instagram lifestyle, trying to show off to our friends the Joneses with social media, which is another total aspect thrown into our life that other generations never really had to deal with. It's getting really weird. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Now, I'll come back to this weirdness between men and women and what we want in our life, but the next thing that's really holding millennials back is owning a home. I mean, this is something that our boomer parents drilled into our head. I know I certainly did as a kid where you got to own your own home. You got to have the house with the backyard. The kids got to run around. It's got to have the white picket fence, get a good job, buy this home. Like that's what it was just jammed down my throat. Own, own, own. That's the case for Canadians across the country. And that's, and that's why we're kind of in the housing structure we're in is because Canadians prioritize their home as the biggest investment ever. Unlike other countries, especially Europe, and even to our friends down south in America, Canadians just really value home ownership. We're kind of the first generation to be told all these lies and these promises, and now we're being shown that home ownership for a lot of millennials, yeah, right, better luck next time. And this is all due to the increasing cost of life. <laughs> Just life in general, dude. The cost of food, the cost of your car, the car insurance. If you're in a married couple, you need two cars, two car insurance payments cost of clothes, the cost of having a child, like everything is just getting insane. And then you throw rent on top of it or a mortgage payment, property taxes, like dude, it's getting insane. Millennials aren't making enough money because they've been told the lie of just get a good job, work at ABC Co as an admin or as a construction guy and you'll be fine. Life will be good. That should be enough to live your lifestyle and we're being shown that that's not the case. No shit, Sherlock. Now the next wrench that's being thrown into the millennial lifestyle is the relationship and the dating world around men and women. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. It used to be that a monogamous relationship, marriage was a top priority. You, you find your soulmate, you get married, you stay together, you have kids, life is good. But with this new situationship or this freedom aspect, I just want to be happy. It's all about me. I'll just do me. And I'm not here to tell you how to live your dating life. I can really give a shit. This is a financial channel, but <laughs> this plays part in finances and getting wealthy. See, I truly believe that when you have a spouse, and not only is that a nuclear family unit for your family and, and your children, it's also a unit for wealth and getting ahead. You need someone to lean on. Business is going to get hard. Life is going to get hard. And when you can rely on someone and totally trust someone 100%, it's going to be a lot easier to get ahead in life. At least that's the case for me. That's how it's been between me and my wife. You know, I'm the A player, the full on 100% speed pedal to the metal, but I get kicked around once in a while and it's nice to bounce ideas off of my wife, get her perspective. Maybe when I'm feeling shitty and really down, I can lean on her. But with this new culture of boss babe and boss dude, I'll do whatever I want. I don't know. I, I, it's just what I'm noticing is that it's not conducive to achieving your goals and getting ahead in life, especially financially. Now, the next thing I want to touch on, which is a little touchy, is this gender role mismatch. You know, it used to be for a millennia 
that men were the leaders. And by leaders, I mean the leader of the financial family. They're the ones that go out, hunt the meat, kill the elephant, get the good job, get the raise, your career is priority, taking care of your family financially used to be a very masculine trait. Men were to do that. And I'm not saying that it has to be that way, but that's the way that it's been. And for the last 30, 40 years, ever since the 80s, really, it's been a new message that women can do whatever they want. They can be the breadwinner. They can be the top law firm lawyer. And it's totally true. It's fantastic. We live in a wonderful new world where that is possible. But I think the problem lies when you have both people in, in the relationship trying to do that, trying to be a boss babe. Get that money, girl. Get that money. Get that job, boy. I don't know if they say get that job, boy, but you know what I mean. When you have two A players trying to play the career game, the family unit starts to die off. And this is where children can suffer. Obviously, that's not a secret, but I think what also suffers are the millennial parents and their relationship as well. See, because with this new trend of boss babe, what I've also noticed, which is kind of weird, is that men are reverting back or changing to more feminine traits. They're kind of, in a sense, moving out of the way, leaving room for women to be the boss babe. And again, that's all cool and all, but I feel that men specifically are losing their drive. They're losing their focus. They're losing their edge. I mean, I'm not making this a men versus women video. Both have such valuable traits when it comes to humanity, when it comes to nature, both are needed. But let's be real, okay? Let's just cut the shit and call it for what it is. Men traditionally overwhelmingly are the go-getters. We're the one with hundreds of times of more testosterone. We're the ones with that fierce edge that'll fuck people up. We just have that in us. And I think that's really important for the leader of the family to have, to go get that bag, to go get that top career, to make the money and take care of the family either. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that women should just shut up, stay home with the kids and stay in the kitchen. That's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, if both people in their marriage and the relationship want to do that, that's fantastic. But what I'm saying is men are losing their edge. I don't want you to step out of the way. You can also still be a savage, but savagery among men is looked down upon in society right now, that is for sure. So I think the secret here in the new world is if you're a millennial man watching this, which like 95% of my audience is men shown by the data of our channels, this message is for you, be a fucking savage. Don't let society and the new worlds in the new way take away your manhood, your, ma your masculinity to just be copacetic and easy and I don't want to cause any trouble. You're supposed to cause trouble. You're supposed to cause shit. No, not illegally. But in the sense of fucking it up for prosperity and for your family and for leading and leading the charge, leading the direction, traditionally, overwhelmingly, if you're a man in a relationship, generally speaking, you lead. You call the shots. Now your wife is there to help you, no doubt. And she'll probably do a better job than you in a lot of areas, that is for sure. But you are supposed to lead. Anyway, that's enough for this controversial video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you not agree? How come? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.